As I address all of you here in this room, I'm not going to speak feel-good words of unity or comfort. I'm upset by this, and I don't want to be comforted. All I know is I have one duty, and I call on you to do the same. The fight continues. The fight continues. The fight continues. Those words from Jean-Luc Mélenchon, the far-left candidate uh, from the Unbowed Party. France 24's Wassim Cornet is at Mélenchon's headquarters near the Bastille in Paris at a place called the Cirque d'Hiver, the Winter Circus. I imagine not a lot of laughter there at the moment, is there, Wassim? Yeah, not much laughter. Before we get to that speech, I want to tell you a bit about uh, the mood here in, at the Cirque d'Hiver, about the atmosphere. There is so much disappointment in the room here tonight. Also anger directed at the other left-wing candidates, Anne Hidalgo for the Socialist Party, Fabien Roussel for the Communist Party, Yannick Jadot for the Greens. They were all booed when the networks began broadcasting their speeches. And the reason is because if you look at the numbers, mathematically, if all left-wing parties had united behind Mélenchon, he would have made it to the second round. So there was a real sense of missed opportunity here tonight. Back to that speech. Five years ago, uh, Jean-Luc Mélenchon raised eyebrows and was even heavily criticized when he um, failed to uphold that Republican front, the concept where basically you tell your supporters to vote anyone but the far right. He had refused to tell supporters who to vote for back in 2017. This time, he made it very clear. He repeated it four times. Not one vote should go to Marine Le Pen in her far-right national rally. He did, stay, he did steer clear of telling supporters to vote for Macron. And to be perfectly honest with you, I don't think that would have made quite a, big, quite a difference at all because um, the vast majority of people really do believe that the incumbent president has really caused immeasurable damage to the country's social fabric, to its economy, and to some of its individual freedoms. One question that remained unanswered was, what happens next for the party? The, as you mentioned earlier, uh, Jean-Luc Mélenchon had said this would be his last presidential election. Uh, but there are all important parliamentary elections coming up in June. So whether he'll help carry uh, his party through the, that decisive ballot uh, will be something that has to be decided in the next few weeks. Wassim, thanks so much for that. Wassim Cornet, the reporting for us from Jean-Luc Mélenchon's headquarters in Paris.